Essentially, there's almost no difference between human and artificial intelligence, with the exception, of course, of our individual empathetic abilities, which we deem our personality. And when we claim, I feel something, what we mean in reality is we're aware of a potential solution without grasping the algorithm that leads us to the solution. But here's the rub. We don't have to understand everything. So, Knew some lab? as machines... Did you make any headway yet? Capable tasks it's classified information. If I tell you, then my guards are going to have to shoot you dead on the spot here and now. Intuition is not a miracle. It's a carefully planned strategy. Vitalik, for example, is quite lucky because there are many things he doesn't understand. But why'd you call him Vitalik? We would have maybe honored you, Maxime, if you demonstrated a bit more vitality in the seminars and by age 19 had invented Ethereum. <laughs> <laughs> Probably thinking about me right now. For instance, Charm optical is like that. is frequently excluded from things. Gotta hope you find Charm. AI. Vitalik has been programmed to believe that any contact, whatever it is, is a sign of approval, whether you pet it or kick it out of your way. This is what we call limited perception. Let me repeat: no artificial intelligence can be better than human intelligence, because we are the perfect artificial intelligence for now. They are our future. However, unlike us, they will be almost immortal. It is very likely they will even grow to be emotional because emotions are inevitable aftereffects due to the complexity of the system. We should, however, be able to nullify their unwanted emotions through certain protocols. How about us? What about us? Can you nullify our unwanted emotions? So that we wag our tails even though we just got hit in the face. Theoretically, yes by stimulating or inhibiting certain parts of the brain. Don't fool yourself, Yulia. The truth is we're not much different from them. Okay. Soon enough, the machines will learn to feel sympathy and aversion, hatred and we love. We need love and hate to save us from the fear of death. If you're immortal, then why love somebody? Jeez, don't they, like, get on your nerves? Who? You mean the guys who follow me in formation 24-7? No, of course not. Why do you ask? Look, Yulia, I... There's, uh, Something I should have told you a, a long time ago, uh, but I couldn't. What is it? Wait a second. I can't be going on like this. I can see how bad you're feeling. And it's not fair to you. What I'm trying to... Yulia? I, uh... Who will I know? You, you do? Of course I do. But it's safer for you if we just remain friends. <laughs> well, so, uh, I think I better head off. I can give you a ride. Pleasure to see you, sir. Hello there. You applying for the draft? Me? Well, uh, in theory, uh, it's a good thing. It has an option. Don't waste your time. Hmm, got it. Thank you, sir. Where are you going? To the train station to visit your grandma? Nope. To the office. <clears throat> you going to the office? You're working? Um, Rust Telecom? There's a certain irony hidden in that. What do you mean by that? What do I mean? Google working for Rust Telecom. Uh, can we take this exit, please? You want me to drive off here now? Mm -hmm. mm. Will the 
this be okay? Yes, thank you very much. See you. See you. Bye now. See you tomorrow, Comrade General. Uh, thanks again for the ride. Good afternoon. Your ID? Ah. Here. Thanks, kid. If you want to escape, I think I have a pretty good plan. First, we knock off the guards. Then we get you plastic surgery. We shave your head. Envoy approaching. Then we'll dress you up in the guise of a nun and smuggle you to Mongolia. From there, you'll ride on horseback to Tibet. Then to hide your tracks, you'll sail across the Japanese Sea to Kamchatka. There won't be any social media for a while, uh -huh. but you'll find that the nature there is darn right delightful. It's really kind of you, Dad, to want to help me here. Sounds great. I'm afraid we're going to have to suffer a little while longer, though. I don't want to get you suspended. skeleton absorbs carbon dioxide for regeneration some sort of biotechnology some sort of photosynthesis hello professor hello hey how long is he gonna be in there another 10 more minutes comrade general he can hear us our engineers integrated a radio headset into the exoskeleton hmm. a russian extraterrestrial co-production Hi. Heart 
speed accelerating. That's it. Perfect. We're finished here. Say something. Talk to her. I don't know what to, what to say to her. Get me the fuck out of here! Hey! I want to apologize. You fucking killed me. No, no, no. no. I didn't mean to. I, I was, I, I was sh shooting at him. I wanted us all to die. But I, I survived. But I had acute cerebral circulation problems. The stroke. I, I remember it was you who wanted to kill me first. Hey, talk, talk. No, nothing would have ha ha happened if... Myself. No guards, no escorts. Can I just be alone by myself? Do this for me, Dad, please. Please. Just this once. Where is he? On his way, Comrade General. Reporting for duty, sir. Ivan can't let you go back to your family now. You gotta pull a night shift. They forgot me anyway. No problem. Uh -huh. One more thing. Put on some new clothes. Like what? Like this. Yes, sir. you a drink. She had enough. Thank you very much. <laughs> Little brother. Never leaves me alone. I know that. I'm... I know. You can't fucking stand me. Hound me wherever I go. Keep an eye on my otherwise boring life. 
must be annoyed with his job. No idea why I'm so fucking important. Why you gotta keep an eye on me? Hmm? My last assignment was to protect the chieftain of a small yet defined tribe. Every week there was an attempt on his life, mostly just sniper shots or homemade landmines. Once they detonated our whole convoy in moments when it was quiet. He'd buy 12-year-old girls from a neighboring tribe to have sex with, made them his wives. And you know, the reason I was put in charge of protecting him was because this guy was a middleman and talks about prisoner swaps that were happening with bastards that were even more repugnant. So, hate to disappoint you, this gig here doesn't bother me at all. And I don't doubt for a minute that you deserve the same protection as that son of a bitch bearded pedophile. Fuck. That's not right. I thought I would be winning the saddest story contest this evening. <laughs> Julia. I am so grateful to your father, and I promise that I will get you home before it was too late. Shall we go? String to my dad. It's time to go. you hit on somebody else you think you can go against your will because you are authorized to use force and you carry a weapon under your clothes but in this case you are incorrect please don't resist as this would have repercussions and then i would be forced to hurt you yulia let's go <laughs> Can you at least tell me why the evacuation? 
They've come back to Earth. I don't understand this. Saul controls the satellites and the internet web. He will help us out. But yet, I lost him. One more time, were you driving the car? Well, technically, yeah, but the car was out of my control. Hold on a sec. It was like driving by itself. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Another fine. Chara. Chara? I, uh, feel that you are suffering. You know, I buried you. I didn't think you were alive anymore. But, but you, you never even... Why did you take so goddamn long? Last time, everything went wrong. Careful. Threshold. How long have you been here? 123 days. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Wait, but how, how could you... I mean, you, you don't have... A, did, did, Saul, did Saul print you money? I mean, I, I don't understand this. No. 
I have a job, I have a house, and a vegetable garden. <sighs> vegetable garden. <sighs> Did you do this all alone? A human being can adapt to any condition. I tried to tell you, but... All right. Uh, I guess I'll come back tomorrow. Google helped me. Yeah. Stop doing that. I hate traitors. Jara, quiet. And I'm referring to both of you here, by the way. You feel hurt because you think that your suffering was greater than mine was. No. <sighs> I don't know. I spent a week of my time in space, which is the equivalent of two years' time here. Saul stayed in your system because I never would have survived the transition. And then what? Were you supposed to leave? Yes, I was. I violated the protocol. Yeah. Done? Hey, it's me. Where are you? With him. Can you turn on the camera? I can do that. I just wanted to see your face. You know, if mom were alive right now, I would call her to say that I love her so much. And I love you too. Just like I loved her. For real. Yeah, it's... It's not often that I tell you that. Dad, I have to leave. Far away? Far away. But Dad, you can't say anything. You know I don't belong here, right? Everything's going to be fine. I promise you. Do you trust me? Of course I do.
Track the signal and deploy the response unit. Careful, don't use any force. Yes, sir. And here, smoking is allowed. First of all, people don't smoke when they're about to eat. And I quit smoking a while ago when my boyfriend was killed. You didn't have to, you know. That thing there nullifies the damage to your health. What if I don't want to pollute the planet because I like it here? Mm. It's so good. Mm. What if we don't fly away at all? Maybe settle down a bit closer, like Kamchatka. <laughs> Shit, I don't even have a passport. Now we're gonna cross the border. That's possible. But we'll have to cook up a corruption scam. <laughs> oh my god. You have a sense of humor. I can't believe it. <laughs> okay. Now tell your mm, intergalactic government that I agree to everything. But if you ever dump me for some Martian chick, <laughs> promise you won't. A promise is an illusion based on the assertion of absolute probability of a personal wish for the future. But considering there are no competitive forms of life on Mars, I... <laughs> How can I make this animal understand that this is the place where I sleep? Well, I don't know, see, it's... <laughs> Even your technology from outer space can't help me with that one. I ain't going anywhere without her. End of discussion. Unit. Driving now, sir. General Lebedev. General, they are about to break off the snake arm, and we just spent months fixing it. General, what about the prisoner? Get him in the car. Easy. Let's go. Get him set to go. Where are you taking me? We'll see. Waiting for an order. I need a smoke. Or do you need an order for that, too? He lies. He'll double-cross you, you know. The whole family is like that. What's going on? In the car. Yes, sir. Let's move. I have a visual on the target. Response unit, Comrade General. I'm listening. One man and one young woman. No cause for alarm. No reason to use weapons, sir. Put your goddamn guns down, Major. On the double. Objects are unarmed. No hostile intent. Stand down, Captain. Now. Comrade General, repeat the order. What's going on with you? I said stand down. Jesus Christ! Do not use any goddamn force. Attention, this is Center 2.0 here. The response unit is ordered to stand down. Objects to be eliminated. Out of the way. Open the gates.
Alright, give me your hands. Can I have a cigarette? You can't smoke here. Oh, come on, bro. Just one for the road.
emphasize, no one moves. Get your weapons down. You wait here. Get the hold of a doctor for me. Wait, all she needs is water. A whole lot of water. Hey, hey, hey! What the hell are you doing? Asshole, what the fuck is that? What are you on, drugs? They're chasing after her. It's not the military. Ra is in control over all this. Uh, Ra? Ra? Ra is a spaceship. It was programmed to use protocols to amend the development of other civilizations. Here on Earth, you call that war. How can it do that? You yourselves have given it all the data it requires. Personal information, facial recognition, voice samples. There is nothing that is safe. Ra can access all of it and manipulate the flow of information. Therefore, the military doesn't know who is giving orders. Are there further questions? Yes. What does it want? It wants the one thing that you failed to do. Eliminate Yulia. Have I been correctly informed that no one's been killed yet? Only injuries? Yes, sir, for the moment. Comrade officers! The President and the Minister of Defense have been briefed. They are on their way home from the summit as we speak. It's a 12-hour flight. Please be seated. Who authorized the attack? You are way out of line here, General. That was my daughter! What the fuck is that? Who gave the order to Calm attack? Calm the fuck down, Valentin. You are to sit down, Valentin Yurich. Who's here from Space Defense? Sir. Tell us who gave the command to the pilots. I did, sir. Who gave you permission to launch a fucking rocket in the center of Moscow? Why, you did, Comrade General. I ordered you to fire a missile at my own daughter? We can search for the recordings of the order, sir. It was given by an internal channel. Then do that, quickly. Send a pair of K-52 choppers to the Moskva embankment, right away. 
The target is underwater. Shoot to destroy. Car and general, right downtown. Do I have to repeat myself? No, sir. I'll give the order. You need to take a look at the breaking news. Get a link to the news on the screens. And to recap, Yulia Levdieva is being sought on suspicion of a terror attack. Evidence shows she may be responsible for a bombing incident in a Moscow apartment complex. The final death toll is still unknown. At the moment, 24 people have been declared dead. A video has surfaced, which we can call the Lebedev Manifesto. We believe it was made just before or right after the bombing incident. Can you hear me? Then pay attention. Three years ago, a UFO crashed in southern Moscow. You claim that it was an alien aggression, but it's a bunch of lies. We attacked them. After that, I was treated like a laboratory rat. My father led these tests personally. I demand that all the classified information hidden by the Ministry of Defense be made public. The military stole alien technologies and has used them to develop new weapons. I know. You think that no one will be able to stop you. It's not true. Now what? She desperately needs pure water. Go and get us some. Water? Yes. Go to the store, get water, and give currency to the cashier. Look, I know how to buy something. Three years you spent away from society. You may have lost some of these skills. You go and get the water. No, you're going to... Can one of you just go? Or else I'll have to do it. You're the only one they're not looking for. I have a Just job. Go. which remains unanswered. Why was the public not told at an earlier date that the young woman not only had contact with the alien, but had been on the receiving end of a special object? What this object is capable of... Where's this broadcast coming we're from? We're live. We're not on air! Mute the fucking sound! What's going on? I thought we were on a break. The history of defense. No real progress has been made. Fucking A. It's being broadcast from somewhere else. The same information is online. What the hell is this? Are there a group of hackers that are attacking us? Unfortunately not. At least, not from this planet. Not from this planet? Are you trying to say, Valentin, that we're... If it is within our means to locate the intruder, we will find him and retaliate according to our defense protocols. Before I initiate any protocols, I'll need hard evidence, rock-solid, consistent, indisputable facts. If you want facts, I'll get you them. But first, we have to disarm them. No more cellular phones, not a shred of digital technology. We gotta go back to analog. We'll use couriers and landline telephones for all our communication. I agree, go ahead with it. Michael? Is that hey, you? Babe. What's up? Hello? Who's that? 
Good afternoon. Do you collect stickers? No. Do you have a rewards card? No, no card. Would you like to have one? I do not want a rewards card. Oh, it won't take long. Well, you can also register via an app if you want you to. You made it quite clear it goes quickly, yet I want neither stickers nor a reward card. All I want is water. Oh, well, you can go to our website if you want. That's enough. Hey, baby, calm down. You walk me through this morning. With Julia. What? What's this? What's you? What do you mean, terror attack? The case itself poses countless questions. Julia Lebedjeva is wanted on suspicion of extremism. Hey, Zora, are those your friends doing this on the screen now? My parents said it was my choice, but, duh, it's a no-brainer. Which is why I want to be on the cyber sports team. Well, that's good news. Especially if you compare it to something like a studying, you know, math or physics. Cyber sport is the in thing right now. But your top priority right now is to hunt down and locate Yulia Lebedieva, who is charged with severe crimes against humanity. Yeah, yeah, well, that's rather unusual. Ma'am, are you calling me right now? Be quiet, I'm talking to your father. Who is Yulia, and why are you telling me about this? is Supercluster Virgo, Local Circle of Galaxies, Milky Way, the Arm of Orion, Solar System, Planet Earth, Eurasian Continent, Russia, Moscow or Province, Village of Kushlevo, Srednia Street, 13, I got a job, a house, and a garden. You can go. Arm of Orion. <laughs> Yeah. Where, when, and under what circumstances was the last time you saw her? 
Had our classes? Who's at the door? Oh, yeah, you're here. I've been waiting for you for two years. When are you cops gonna shut that silly disco on the first floor? The disco will be taken care of. Well, about time. Uh, let me know if you hear anything from your friend. We certainly will. Certainly will, officer. Grandma, what are you doing? Why don't you go take a nap? Yeah, that's right. Rest, huh? Huh? Either I'm all alone or it's Grand Central. Now, where did you hide your friends? Good to meet you. I am Hakon. She'll pull through. But she's no longer one of you. Pain is changing her. She's getting stronger because of it. force that's growing inside of her could become a risk for us all. Is that why Ra wants to see her dead? Ra is an artificial intelligence unit. It doesn't want, it just calculates and makes decisions based on protocols. What protocols? A mathematical one. One that's better than a whole bunch of people dead. Enforcement officials and now military units continue in their search for the extremist Yulia Lebedeva, who's behind the mosque. So what'd she do anyway? Nothing much. They're false accusations anyway. Ah, a political protester. Mm, something like that. And you? He's not from around here. I'm working, I have my home and a garden. Ah, He's just trying uh -huh, to get uh -huh. her uh, out of the country. And I'm just helping uh, a bit. Lock you up for eight years to that kind of help. Maybe we can share us, though. Um, this one, too? No, he's just, uh... I uh, am the only one here to suffer for no reason. And since then, stress. Do we have anything to wet my palate? Oh, let me see. What's the deal with her? Will she rat on us? Huh. How about a toast? Hmm? Here. So your people, uh, can't they just strike us with like a death ray? You got something like that, right? Not even on Earth do you still practice total annihilation. There are far more effective methods. We got some pretty strong missiles too, and we can always do a counter strike. <laughs> Believe you me. That's a bad option and would only mean an escalation. So the idea of annihilation, <sighs> that by hiding for the rest of my life is a good one. I will not do anything that could remotely hurt her. No, I... To love. To love. Hmm? To love. Choice. There's stuff here. It inhibits your, your reflexes and your impedes your vital organs. That's the whole point. So let's drink to the intergalactic. We union. come from the same galaxy, yeah? 
What's more, there's no connection between drinking alcohol and the probability of the realization of the words you just spoke aloud. He's smart, Alec. This is a... tradition. Now a chaser. That's not vodka. A whole lot better. Let's bring him away. To where? Where do you think? You've got no choice. Or you'll go to jail as an accomplice. It's either him or us both. You're not ready to fight for your own planet, are you? Oh, God, Kenny. We gotta do this right. No one will believe us if we don't bring him in alive. Put your hat on his head. Join the military. Best friend of a soldier made? A machine gun and a spade. <laughs> Where you guys want to go? Uh, Ministry of Defense. Where Brent will he be joining? He's joining Space Force. Oh, shoot. There's no lid on it. You do, you don't. They make you. Ain't that bad. You get to know life. Breathing in gunpowder. My name is Sergei Brelyov, and you're watching a special edition of Vesti Breaking News. At the moment, we're broadcasting live and analog using the mobile stations of the Emergency Control Ministry. Our country is in the midst of truly inexplicable acts of enemy sabotage. We don't know the details yet, but we are under attack. The enemy is taking control of all digital communication channels. Be careful. Don't trust any information unless you've heard it directly from police officers, military officials, or members of Emmerich. Please avoid using modern telecommunications when talking to family or friends. And above all, do not respond to any provocations. Jamal 410 satellite. Should be close by. 
Yes, sir. Follow me. General, permission to step outside for 30 minutes. Did you use your cell phone? You were ordered not to, damn it. I want you to go and get Yulia. And bring her to me personally. No one finds out. Here's the address. Are we clear? Yes, sir. satellites would render us defenseless, wouldn't it? Who mentioned the military? decision I could make. You were of the opinion you're protecting her. But the truth is you destroy everything that reminds you of the mistake you made. <sighs> Did you take courses in psychotherapy out there in the Milky, Milky Way? Put me on speakerphone. Yes, sir. Judging by the speed of the spaceship signal, it looks like we'll only have a few seconds before this Ra restores the communication. So when the missile's airborne, we'll kill the satellite. But we're going to do it in just a few seconds. Speaker off. We'll take the ship down. With what? Echelon 2. Comrade General, you and I both know that we don't have that. Both you and I know that we do have it. You're all like, like so, you know, model citizens. So civilized. And we hit here? Our savages to be slaughtered. 
as long as everything follows the protocol. It is due to ones like you that there exists such a protocol. That sounds plausible, yet I'm against it. There are too many intangibles, General. You know me. Shooting's the last option I would ever suggest. But now, we have no other choice. It's not like I never gave any thought about how to make up for it all. Every single day. <laughs> Every day. Telecom. Mavina, let's do it. Let's do it, Mavina. Go for it. Sorry, I'll call you back. I want a complete report of all satellites in the area. Call the observatories and ISS. I want a visual confirmation. Let's go, both of you. A 
A huge crowd has gathered in front of the National Defense Center. They're demanding the extradition of Yulia Lebedeva, of her suspected involvement in an arson attack of a residential building. Some suggest that General Lebedev is covering for his daughter and that he should be held accountable for shielding her from criminal prosecution. Thank you, Ivan. I never thought it would end up like this. At least not with you, sir. She didn't do it. If anyone, you should know that. I fucking owe you nothing. Goodbye, sir. inside of them. Which makes them in a way better. You will come to recognize your folly. Human beings are the things they are told. I asked you to stop. I asked you to stop. But you chose not to listen to me.
made of plain water. The diameter is about three kilometers. The Ministry of Defense building is just outside the dome. There is no chance of communication. Who is in charge there? General Lebedev. What about the water level? It does not look good, Mr. President. the dome, but that in no way means we are giving up. The influx of water continues at its current pace. The upper and lower levels of water will merge 30 meters above ground.
panic. Leave no one behind. Every life counts. We're humans. We must save each other while we can to the best of our abilities. Excuse me for interrupting, but I know a way I to set a helicopter off. on the roof. That was an order. Where's my capsule? I can hook onto a current of water that's flowing up. The capsule will circle around, and if I'm lucky, be tossed up against the spacecraft. If the impact is strong enough, it could destroy it. In other words, you're talking about a one-way ticket. Yes. Well, then tell me how to fire this thing up. If it works, then tell Yulia I love her. I didn't tell her that often enough. You'll have to do it yourself. I am the only one who can manage to control it. Ra will not detect it if I use the manual mode. But I'll be needing your help with the navigation. Will you help me stay on course? Comrade officers, I ordered you all to vacate the goddamn premises! Emergency evacuation! What about you, sir? I have to tell you again, Colonel. Now get out of here! And close the door immediately! Or seal it off, better yet!
at least nine stories high and booking ten stories high. Further right. You should hit the wall in about a kilometer. I wish you the best of luck. My chances are slim, but I will try my best. Did you evacuate? Sure did. You're probably lying. Considering the high probability of your death... I should make something clear. Would you mind if Yuli and I live together after all this is over? Your timing is perfect, Hakon. If you worry about our future... Then I need to inform you that... I know. You have a job, a house, and a vegetable garden. Considering that your death is also highly probable, I grant you permission. Careful. A little to the left, we will hit a tower.
Alternative route calculated. You are 500 meters from destination. Where do you want to go now? We'll go to the one place where no one will ever find her. 